Kokabad and his family. There are eight covers in there. There's the there's the mosque and this is the part the wall. Alauddin Kirkabad was one of the most successful sultans of the Seljuk Empire. After the death of his father, Alauddin's brother ascended to the throne. Alauddin fought against his brother to become the sultan, but he lost the battle and was put in prison. If you are curious about authentic Turkey, come and explore Southeast Turkey with us, where we will be exploring food, culture, people, religion, lifestyles and ancient cities. We will be taking you to Shanelurfa, Mardin, Food of Gaziantep, City of Rumi and City of Prophets. Adana Kebab in Adana. Come and join us in our 17 day trip to Southeast Turkey. and welcome back to Mesh of Travels. As you know, we are on a Southeast Turkey road trip. At the moment, we are in Konya and I am taking you to Alauddin Mosque and his tomb today. Alauddin Jami. This is Alauddin Kokabad. We are going to visit this temple here. We will visit Alauddin Kokabad. और ये उसकी हिस्ट्री आप इसको पोस्ट करके पढ़ सकते हैं। Aladdin Mosque, the earliest building built in the Seljuk capital, reflects the historical phases of a building whose first construction was probably the Sarai Masjid and transformed into the city's grand mosque over time. Aladdin Mosque, which resembles a miniature palace, when viewed from the north from Karatai Madrasa is the integrity of structures of worship, tombs, and a courtyard. However, the mosque at the center of unity is obvious disorder of plan. This irregularity shows itself in fact that the mosque consists of three separate sections with different characteristics. This is the part of the park. And there is a madrasa on the other side of this um, paper wall, which is a museum now, actually. So this is the mosque of Alauddin, the inside of the world. very simple Seljuk mosque. The presence of different materials is also considered related to the construction process of the Aladdin mosque. Various architecture pieces belong to previous periods such as ancient inscriptions and rewritings are amongst them. The mihrab is a part of the original 12th century part of the mosque. It is finally painted few years ago and like the original Seljuk tile work, which would have been expected, but it's just paint. Member of Alauddin Mosque is dated to 1155 to 1165, probably when the mosque was first built before later restorations and modifications to the building. This member is a prime example of Kundankari technique in which many interlocking pieces 
of wood are held together without nail, pins or any glue. These pieces are fitted like a mosaic by internal wooden frame. Individual pieces are carved with digital Arab skews, motifs with wider geometric motifs formed by the different pieces. As we go outside the mosque towards the northern entrance, we see several graves. These are actually the model graves. Real graves are well under below the ground. Kokabad and his family, there are eight covers in there. There's the there's the mosque and this is the part the walls. In the mosque's front courtyard, between the enclosed rooms, are octagonal Seljuk turbises holding the tombs of numerous Seljuk Turkish sultans, including Aladdin Kekobad, Khalid Arsalan, and three Gayazuddin Kesarovs. At the front of the Aladdin Tapasi, on the north side towards the great Karatai Madrasi, are the slight remains of a Seljuk palace of Sultan Khalid Ersalan, sheltered by an ugly modern concrete structure. Alauddin Kirkabad was one of the most successful sultans of the Seljuk Empire. After the death of his father, Alauddin's brother ascended to the throne. Alauddin fought against his brother to become the sultan, but he lost the battle and was put in prison. When his brother died in 1220, since he didn't have any sons, Alauddin ascended to the throne and ruled the empire between 1221 and 1237. Most buildings he ordered during his rule can still be seen today in Anatolia. One is Yivli Minaret Mosque in Italia, which I've already shown you in my previous uh, uh, videos. If, if you click on the right hand side top corner, I'll leave a link there for you to see. He bought Seljuk Empire to its heydays during his rule, giving a great importance to trade and science. He invited many intellectuals and artists to his court, including Muvlana Rumi. Alauddin Kekabad died on the 31st May 1237 in Kesri during a feast in honor of foreigner ambassadors. There were rumors that his son, Gazuddin Kesarov II, poisoned him in order to become the next sultan earlier than expected. He is buried in Aladdin Mosque in the city of Konya. Thank you very much for watching and do not forget to subscribe for more from Southeast Turkey and Uzbekistan coming soon.